I don't know what the deal is with this current jetpack phase that I'm going through, but honestly, I'm kind of rocking with it. Anyways, what's going on, guys? It's Rage, and welcome back to some Advanced Warfare. This here is the S1X client, and I have been meaning to make a video on this for over a year. I'm so sorry. I'm so late to the party. So in case you guys don't know what S1X is, this is the completely free-to-play Advanced Warfare client by X Labs, the same guys who do IW4X for MW2, IW6X for Ghosts. As far as I know, and for what I would assume, this is definitely the best way to play Advanced Warfare on PC if you guys are interested. Uh, I don't really know what the deal with Steam is. I mean, over here on S1X, you can literally do unlock all. You can unlock literally everything in the game. All the DLC is free. All the weapon variants. You can get a quick bolt. Literally every single DLC weapon with all of the supply drop variants. You can just select the Obsidian Steed just like that if you're somebody who likes using the bow. And actually, if I'm remembering this properly, see, I played Advanced Warfare on the Xbox 360 when it came out, and I don't remember ever getting the Dragonov in this game. I don't know if this was exactly the case, but I think there was something that you couldn't get to the DLC weapons on old gen at the time, Xbox 360 and PS3. I feel like I might be remembering that completely wrong, but I never got the Dragonov. So yeah, all the guns, custom variants, custom camos, DLC maps, literally you can get everything for free. There's no reason to not play S1X if you're really looking to play Advanced Warfare on PC. And speaking of DLC, this is the perfect time to jump into this server, Kremlin. Oh my god, this is already bringing back some memories. I, I think this DLC came out in like early 2015, and you guys already know, back in those days, Moscow Monday, yeah, I went crazy on this map. Oh yeah, that's right. They have a juggernaut thing in this game. I completely forgot about that. Hold on, I hear Sasha at the door. She makes no sense. She wanted to be let out before I started recording, and now she's scratching at the door to be let back in. Sniping in this game is incredibly satisfying. I absolutely love the moors. I feel like we don't talk about the sniper enough. See, back when Advanced Warfare dropped. All right, now... Oh yeah, that's right. I, I can't land on the floor in here. See, now, I was talking about this again in the Infinite Warfare video that uh, Infinite Warfare is a super underrated Call of Duty, but the same thing applies. Oh my god, that was a quad feed. Okay, that's actually so annoying. So again, here with Advanced Warfare, I feel this was another one of these games that was just super underrated. And as a matter of fact, I would go as far as to say that Advanced Warfare is easily within my top five Call of Duty launch experiences. Because when this game dropped in 2014, I wasn't really sure how to feel about it. I mean, really, as a matter of fact, no one really knew how to feel about it. It was the first jetpack Call of Duty game. Speaking of which, this map, Horizon, I remember when this game came out, there was a little uh, wall breach right here where you can get under the map in and infected. I think I have a really, really old clip of, uh, it was like in some funnies and fails where I was glitching under the map like that and infected. It was such a good time, man. Holy like shit. Infected oh my god, come back here and look, yeah, at the, look over there. <laughs> oh my god, holy LSD. Oh my. Holy LSD? Anyways, you can go for Sui's there. Especially considering the year that we had with uh, Ghost, which obviously coming off of Black Ops 2, not a lot of people were really into Ghost. So going to Advanced Warfare, a lot of people weren't uh, exactly sure how to feel, but me personally, this was some of the most fun I have ever had playing a new Call of Duty game. For one, the campaign in this game is actually really, really fun. It is a really solid playthrough. I feel like for what it was at the time, Advanced Warfare was just so new, it was something really, really new to learn in the Call of Duty franchise. And on top of the fact they brought back uh, War from World at War, they made it momentum in this game, it was some of the most fun I had ever had playing a new COD on launch. I think within the first couple of months of the game, I think it was by February of 2015, I got to 14th Prestige, which is the emblem I've set myself here to. Oh yeah, the punching in this game. Amazing. There's the punch and the stomp. I, I don't know if I'm gonna just hit my head trying to do this. There we go. <laughs> Poor guy came back at the wrong time. My fault, dude. I think a lot of it also ties in with uh, just how 2014 was for me at the time. For as long as I've been on YouTube, I've been like on YouTube and like really making Call of Duty videos since 2009, 2010 is when I really started doing commentaries. But it was the summer of 2014 leading up into Advanced Warfare that I started doing these uh, these kind of videos that I do now. The whole cut com style, I guess, if people still call it that. I had just graduated from high school at the time and it was the first time that I had like really sat down and started grinding YouTube. YouTube, and I was doing uh, daily uploads for all those years. It was from 2014 to about up to the release of Black Ops 3 that I was daily uploading. And also at this point in time, it is a slight life update, but uh, I'll be done with college here pretty soon, and I, I really hope that I can get back to that kind of style again. I'm not sure if I would go back exactly to daily uploading, like every single day, because I do stream a lot, but being able to upload a whole lot more and like not have to worry about school and just other sorts of stuff like that's gonna be really, really nice. I have a whole other separate video where I want to talk about that, and 
and a lot of other things that I'm uh, really excited to share with you guys. So for me, thinking back to Advanced Warfare, it is a, a pretty nostalgic time in my life. Even if it's not like one of my favorite Call of Duties of all time, I still had a blast on this game. Get it? Blast. It's it's funny. It's really not that funny. Okay, I'm sorry. Again, though, it is a really nice nostalgic time in my life. And uh, again, just thinking back to AW for how different it was, as far as like the skill gap goes, I know a lot of people uh, feel a certain type of way about the Jetpack Call of Duties, but where would you guys rate Advanced Warfare out of all three of the Jetpack CODs? For me personally, I feel like all the way up until this point in time, I would have said that Advanced Warfare is my favorite Jetpack Call of Duty, and I still think that holds true. I don't know exactly how fair I can be, considering that I've only just recently gotten into Black Ops 3 and Infinite Warfare, so... And by just recent, obviously, I mean, you know, like, within the past couple of years. Like, Infinite Warfare, I would say, was like 2018 that I really started to appreciate it, and Black Ops 3 was 2020, 2021. Truly, I do enjoy all of the Jetpack Call of Duties. I really do feel like they, they all have their own, like, special little uh, niche to it, you know? And really, even thinking back to the way that the Call of Duty community was at the time, especially with uh, sniping, trick shotting, all that. See, when Advanced Warfare came out, the Quick Bolt was the best sniper that you could have because the kill feed, no joke, the kill feed was like 15 seconds on launch. And it was like that all the way up until like January, February. There were so many people that blew up because of Advanced Warfare Free For All. I think Random was one of the guys that really got big off of AW Free For All sniping. It was Random and a couple of other people, if I'm not mistaken. But man, that Advanced Warfare kill feed on launch was something psychotic. It was just something about the way this game played between Free For All, Momentum, even like Search and Destroy trick shotting was some good fun. I just got absolutely rolled by Gladys. This guy went to stomp on me, he blew up the car. <laughs> oh my god. Enemy UAV above. I, of course, I hit mark that shot. I'm so upset. I don't know, though, man. I really do feel like there was just something about Advanced Warfare that just hit different. Now, I, I might just be being completely nostalgic about it, but I truly do feel like this game is severely underrated, and if you were there for the launch of this game, it is, without a doubt, a top five COD launch experience. For as long as I've been playing Call of Duty, of course, I'm gonna say something like COD 4, World at War, MW2, MW3, Black Ops 2, you know, like the whole heyday of Call of Duty. Like, of course, those launch experiences were great, and I know we all love to talk about the old days in Call of Duty, but I really do feel that uh, even for like 2014 at the time, going into the new age of COD at the time, there, there was some still some uh, some really special stuff about it, man. It also kind of leads into the uh, thought of what is the worst Call of Duty of all time. And truly, I can say there's not really many CODs that I truly hate, or actually, as a matter of fact, I don't even think there is a COD that I truly dislike besides Modern Warfare 2019. Even all the Jetpack CODs, I'd rather play them over Modern Warfare. I mean, I really don't even feel like I have to say it. Modern Warfare was just simply not made for the Call of Duty veteran. It's not to say that COD veterans don't like the game or aren't good at the game, it's just that uh, the game at its fundamental core is just not made for somebody like me, or us for that matter. I feel like a game like Advanced Warfare though was new and fresh enough at the time that it was a nice new challenge for everybody and you didn't get punished for uh, being good or slightly competent at the game. But also to be fair, this was a time before skill-based matchmaking really took over. I mean, I, I do remember the discussion of its uh, possibility considering when uh, trick shotters were going for like suicide shots. I think you would get kicked from certain games if you jumped off the map too much or if somebody thought you were uh, quote-unquote reverse boosting. Skill-based matchmaking back then just obviously wasn't as uh, prominent as it is now. So that's also probably a big reason as to why I don't like Modern Warfare. Just had a horrible experience with it. Have a great first couple of games, then all of a sudden you're facing Scumpy for $10,000 on the line. Also, I don't know if I've already talked about this, but the camos in this game are something awesome. This x-ray camo is so cool. Yeah, hi guys, I'm right here. Even this uh, Supply Drop Royalty camo looks really, really cool. Although I am not good with the Dragon Off at all in this game. I never got to use this thing. <laughs> Although it seems like it does some pretty decent damage. It seems like in every other Call of Duty, you pretty much have to hit people in the collarbone if you're going to use a Dragon Off. Speaking of really strong snipers, though, this Atlas 20mm, my god, the Spartan laser of Call of Duty. <laughs> and actually, the thing about the Atlas is that you can't even hit fire with it. Like, you can't even go for no scopes. You have to scope in and go for a shot, which I always thought was kind of unique about it. Hold on, did I just see a change to hardpoint? Team Deathmatch. I've been lied to! I will say though, Atlas has some of the nicest spawn in faction music in Call of Duty. It's so good. Now one thing I was never really good at was going for these uh, kind of insta-swaps like that. I didn't even mean to do that. Given the 15 second kill feat at the time, it was so cool to like, you know, hit two or three shots in a row with the moors, then you like insta-swap over to the Atlas and you just keep going. I am really not good with it at all on keys. I don't know what it is, I just can't time it right. I mean, I haven't really practiced it, but with Fast Sand, 
lands in the spike drone, especially like shock charges on VO2. I was really good at insta swapping off those, but it was one thing about advanced warfare that I never uh, quite got down. Me personally, all I would run is the moors. Like the moors with a variable zoom or a thermal. It was just something about the moors, especially here with the variable zoom. You could black scope with this thing. It was just so accurate. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I think this was one of the first times that uh, COD ever did this was having like real dynamic changing maps. I mean, it had kind of been a thing with like, you know, new secret areas to go to, but uh, here on recovery, you've got like a whole new second part of a map. For what it was at the time, man, Advanced Warfare did some really new and really, really cool things. I don't think by any stretch of the imagination this game is over hated or anything like that, but I really do think it's one of the most underrated Call of Duties. It really is some good fun. Like, I'm, I'm so glad this client exists. Even if it's not the most populated one, it is some good fun just to load up AW on PC if you're really craving it. I mean, if anything, though, if you're a really big trick shotter, I know that on like every single client that is on PC, there, there's always trick shotting servers. <laughs> I missed. I suck. 62 and 22. Man, the Moors feel so good. It's such a satisfying sniper to use. But on that note, though, I think that's going to go ahead and wrap it up. This was a really nice revisiting to Advanced Warfare. Again, here, as far as the server list goes, of course, you've got your main uh, Shake and Trick Shotting server. You've got uh, two TDM servers that most people will usually play. I've noticed that on Friday and Saturday nights, especially, Nameless Noobs TDM is usually always popping. I don't know if I chose the wrong time. It's a Sunday afternoon. But still, though, if you're looking to play some Advanced Warfare on PC, definitely go ahead and check out S1X. And also, if you guys are interested, feel free to go ahead and join into my Discord. It's linked down in the description below, so you guys never miss pings when I post new videos here to YouTube, as well as when I go live on Twitch. Once again, thank you guys so much for checking out this Advanced Warfare video. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you guys did. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Rage, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, everybody.